Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Paul Bauer. I am a realtor here in the Lincoln, Omaha area. And today is another Bowtie Business Spotlight. And today with me, I have Erica. And her and her husband, Brad, started the chocolate season. So how are you doing today, Erica? I'm doing good. Like I said, thank you for letting me be a little tardy. I had chocolate all over me since we were cleaning the Enrober today. So definitely had to get cleaned up for the video. <laughs> Yeah, that it was honestly probably, like I said, one of the best replies I ever got is I'm cleaning chocolate off myself. It's like, that's probably one of the best problems that you Thank can you. have. Yes. <laughs> My well, clothes are awesome. great all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet that's a very common response that you probably give to a lot of people, but for people to receive that, it's like, huh, that makes sense, yeah. but that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Fun job. Yeah. Well, awesome. We'll, we'll get right into it. So tell us a little bit about you and your business. Sure. Well, um, Chocolate Season started in 2007. We were an internet uh, company only. We did shipping nationwide and deliveries in the Omaha area. We actually started in an old uh, two-room schoolhouse north of Omaha. So that was kind of crazy. Um, people started coming just for like coffee and brownies. And we said, well, we're only a kitchen. We can't do that. But it just made us go, maybe that's a niche market that needs to be filled. Uh, as you remember, the great housing crash and recession back then, um, everything was going downhill. So we thought, maybe not best to invest brick and mortar in a city. So we actually moved my hometown in Iowa and opened up a brick and mortar location and expanded some of our offerings. We outgrew that in a year, bought real estate on, on the main street, and then we're there for about nine years. And we decided to come to Lincoln because my sister lives here. She's a physical therapist at Madonna. My brother-in-law is president of construction at Hampton. And um, we fell in love with the community. Sarah went through a health scare. So we were in town a lot visiting her and my nieces. And we just fell in love with Lincoln. And we just said, this is the perfect place to move the chocolate season, have my kids grow up with their cousins. Um, we just felt like Lincoln needed a chocolate shop. And <laughs> here we are. So... <laughs> Yeah, you, you can never have too many, even if there's a hundred, it's like pe people will still love another one. <laughs> Definitely. Chocolate and coffee are like everybody's vice. And if you don't yeah. like coffee, you got tea. If you don't like tea, I got hot chocolate. So yeah, exactly. basically got you covered. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and so when it comes to chocolate and everything like that, how, d how did you get into the chocolate season? Uh, well, Back then, um, the cupcake craze was just hitting the high point where everybody wanted to own a cupcake shop. And since I didn't know how to ship cupcakes, and by the time I would get good at making cupcakes, the trend would be over because I needed to like factor in the learning curve of like, I won't be great right away. So um, I've always loved chocolates. I love desserts. I like the creative outlet that chocolate gives you. you you're you never bored. There's always something new to create, new flavor compositions. The science behind chocolate mm -hmm. is fascinating. Um, very, very in depth, the, the molecular structure of just even tempering and how to handle ganache formulation for shelf life and mouthfeel. And, and I loved that. And then chocolate shippable. So since we started off as a shipping company only, I needed a product that I could learn to ship well. Um, and honestly, the whole gift giving aspect came from my grandma. My grandma Hesvik was this farmer's wife in North Iowa. And she would give you banana bread and meatloaf and cookies and tuna casserole. No matter what she gave you, you know, she was just pouring her heart into it. And I said, what a wonderful thing to do is to give people the gift of connection through what you're making every day. And so we just really thought, how do we do that? And Chocolate Season evolved into, into a gift giving company that featured lots of other things like the coffees and the nosh and nibbles and different things like that. Um, waffle weekends, just because we listened to what our customers wanted and we created it for them. So yeah. really a customer led company. Yeah. Which I mean, it's, it's all about the people, you know, when it, when it, it comes to a people pleasing, you know, type business. So now what we're going to do is Erica is going to share her screen here yes, and going to take us on a journey through the chocolate season and Hopefully by the end of it, um, everyone has a massive sweet tooth. I hope so. <laughs> 
Okay, so um, I'm just gonna go through the front page here. We have recently switched to a story branding website and we are continuing to build it. So it's kind of in stage one here. Um, but we have some product photos. We say, give the gift of connection. A lot of people still don't realize, even though we started off as a shipping company, people find it so fascinating that what's a, basically a mom and pop store ships nationwide. I mean, through Christmas and Valentine's, we were shipping all over the United States, which is awesome. We have um, kind of a scrolling banner here, giving you some information about what's going on at the store. Waffle Weekends is awesome. That's Saturday and Sunday. We serve waffles eight to one. The store is open eight to two. Um, it's they're made from scratch waffles with very fun toppings. Um, we change the, the menu a couple times a year. We have a lot of fun with it. So down here, we talk about the nationwide shipping as well as the business and corporate gifts. So we do things that are customizable since we have a photographer and graphic designer on our staff. Um, he is able to you know, work with your logo, create something that's corporate. And a lot of these um, features, we don't even charge you like labor time. We just charge you for the material. Like if you need certain brochures or things made to go with your chocolate gift, we can do that for you, um, which I think is just super fun. We just did some hot chocolate bombs that were custom labeled and sent out nationwide. So that was wonderful. Um, this is a few of our kind of like our popular gifts. So we have the bonbons that you can do a four, eight. So we have a 15 and a 30, some pre-made gift boxes. So pre-made as in we have figured out an assortment that picks out a variety of products that ships really well. And, and when you order, Order it, then we make it for you. So it's not the situation where you come in for a classic gift box on a Tuesday and you're like, I want to pick up 50 classic gift box uh, right now. I don't have 50 waiting because I want you to have the freshest product possible. So uh, a lot of times our special orders only need about 24 um, hours notice, maybe 48 if you have a really, really huge order. And then we get that turned around really quickly for you. So that's really wonderful. Down here is kind of some of our accolades. So I'm a graduate from the Goldman Sachs 10KSB. Um, that is a program that I'm trying actually to bring into Nebraska. It's not here in Nebraska yet, but it's um, a business that based, it's a company that invests in basically teenage businesses. So um, if you're, you're not a beginning business, but you're not a business ready to retire, they basically kind of give you a business degree in three months. It's a very, very rigorous program, um, three-step interview process to get chosen for the program. So just absolutely wonderful. The alumni network is, is very, very active in our business. Um, when we were in Iowa, we got named as Iowa's Best Waffles as a part of the 50 Best Waffles in the United States. Valrona is the chocolate that we use, our Kuvature. It is literally the best in, in the world, like Valrona, for anybody in the culinary industry knows that you cannot get any higher quality than Valrona. And that is why we use it. And not only are, do we use Valrona, we are a Circle V member, which is like even more top tier. And we're so excited to bring that to the community of Lincoln. Uh, when we lived in Iowa, we were named the small business of the month for the entire state. Uh, and then we are also picked uh, as Google's small business feature. Google did a campaign where it was get America's businesses online. And we were chosen as like one of three businesses in Iowa to be featured in their nationwide campaign. So that's really awesome. Uh, here in the browse all gifts, you can kind of see things that we do. Um, so if, again, if you want the pre-built gift boxes, if you don't want to sort through all of these products and you're like, I just want a gift box like the sweet and salty or the classic, you could go over here to the pre-built gift boxes. If you're just looking for popcorn for your for your dad, if we have a sweet caramel corn and a Rocky Road popcorn, you could go there. Um, so we have Tuttles. A lot of people say, oh gosh, you have a typo on your website. And I always say, well, actually, all of us lawyer friends will tell you that Brox has trademarked the word turtle as um, naming that pecan caramel chocolate confection. So you have to come up with a different name. Um, so just in case we get on Oprah's top list, I don't want Brock's coming after me and suing me for using the word turtle. Um, we have Porker Valley toffee. A lot of things in our store label is labeled Porker Valley if we have bacon in it. And Porker Valley is actually the name of my husband's family farm. So it's kind of like a throwback again to the family homage of Brad's from Blair and uh, he he's, he's grown up on a farm and 
And so since they used to raise hogs, anything that has bacon in our store is called Porker Valley. So that's kind of fun. We have fudge, apples, the cheesecakes. This is obviously pickup only, but we're really known for our cheesecakes. Um, the Florida Cell Caramels, they're so popular. It's one of our most popular confections that they literally have their own box that you just get 15 Florida Cell Caramels because people love them so much. And funny thing about the Florida Cells are my grandma Vi hasn't had, it, had caramels in like 10 years because she had dentures. And so when I started making chocolate that she said, Eriki, can you make me a caramel I can actually eat? So we actually cook our caramels below industry standard by several degrees. So they're always really soft and creamy instead of tacky and chewy and get stuck in your molars. And, and that's all because my grandma just really wanted to eat caramels and she will inhale a box in five minutes, which is super fun. Um, our brownies are awesome. We, we make those every day for the store and then you can pick out a half dozen or a dozen and they come in a great gift box with um, ribbon and tissue. And with all the gifts that you get, you get a complimentary card. So you can write any of your messages in your checkout um, for the notes. And then we handwrite it for you so that it has that personal touch going to someone that it's a handwritten message. Um, but this kind of shows you just a few of the brownies that we make and there's some descriptions for it. So that's kind of great. We sell um, local tea and coffee. Um, Artemis and Hardy are out of Omaha and they're small companies that do a really great job with their product. The Netflix and Nosh, this was a super fun gift box to put together. Uh, um, we started it during COVID because what were people doing? <laughs> Watching Netflix. So um, this is a really, this was a, and still is a super, super, super popular box because you get our brown butter toffee cookies, you get one of our artisan bars, a whole bottle of cold brew that you get to keep the bottle and bring it in for a less expensive refill. So it's a gift that keeps on giving. And then of course our signature popcorns, which is always very popular. Um, you got the bars, you got some of our pretzels, um, mugs, the glacé oranges have been crazy popular for the holidays. And even quiche, we're known for our quiche here at the store. And so if you're hosting brunch or, or anything like that, or you just want some food for like meal prep for the week, we can meal prep for you. We'll get that quiche made for you and you pick it up and we even give you reheating instructions. So that's kind of great. And then um, you got, of course, got the bonbons. And if you want to go into like cravings, these are just some of our really popular products. And then we say, we, you know, we ship to all 48 states. I don't like to go to Hawaii if I don't have to. Um, We've done it, but uh, then like I said, we have the handwritten notes, but what's gonna be coming up here is um, we're gonna have a link for our truck. So we have a coffee truck and we're going to have a link that will take you to a sign up page. So if you need to book the truck for an open house, for a graduation, um, if you just wanna surprise your employees with a really awesome coffee break, we will have that ability to do that right here on the website. So all the information will be online. So it's very, um, easy to do at midnight in your bedroom and you forgot to get something booked, just hop online and get that done. We do have a very active Facebook and Instagram account. Um, you can contact us via email. And let's see, I think that's about a lot of it. Um, we do have ordering online here. So let me go back to the homepage. So if you want to do the to-go menu, um, we do have curbside pickup, so you can get your drinks pre-ordered. You can get um, on waffle days on Saturday and Sunday, you can pre-order your waffles. So this will, these links will take you to a website where you can order your drinks and get them picked up through the drive-through, or you can just pull into one of our curbside spots, and then we'll just you just call us and say, "Hey, I'm here for my curbside," and we'll come right out and get it delivered for you. We have to go coffees for like an office meeting, um, some of our signature hot chocolates. We even do a really big hot chocolate to go. Here's a picture of the waffles. This menu just changed last month and it's been really popular. So um, yeah, I guess that kind of gives you an idea of that. You can get a gift card online. You go back to the TCS website. If you want to hear about our story, you can go to the About Us page. That's my grandma Hesvik. She's the one that would make you tuna casserole, meatloaf, and cookies. <laughs> um, here's a picture of our store. So this kind of tells you why we built the store and why we do what we do. This was our store in our location in Iowa. 
so you can kind of see um, some of our roots of where we came from. But that's basically uh, that's basically it on the website: shopping, curbside um, information, map. If you have a donation request, you can click here. We're always looking for the right team members, so you can um, apply online. We have a very fun pre-screen. Apparently, apparently, employees get a kick out of our pre-screen application. Um, and then again, you can send us an email. So if you're not sure how to get a hold of us, there's several ways to do that. So does that kind of show you the website, Paul? You betcha. Awesome. All right. And then just kind of wrapping it up, kind of put a couple questions together, uh, just because most of the time sure. they kind of go with each other. Um, when it comes to support or you know places in town that you're you may be partnered with or you know do things with um you know that's you know a way for maybe you to shout some people out and then if there's you know maybe one main thing that you're looking forward to when it does come to your business for this year i know that's what people would probably want to know sure um lincoln has a wonderful culinary community I've met many, many people um, either through different events or just going to the farmer's market like you love and finding a food truck and being like, what's your name? I mean, I'm literally that scary person that's like, <laughs> I, I want to be your friend. So let's just let's just rip off the bandaid now. And um, so, for example, that's how I met I, uh, Muchacho. So Nick, who runs Muchachos, Sarah, who runs Rutabagas are kind of like my culinary support team. Really great friends of mine. Absolutely adore them. Um, I love working with, I, I, maybe because I'm a small business owner, I love alcohol. I mean, draw, draw whatever conclusion you may need to draw, but the, the cideries and breweries here in town are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love where I worked with Saro Cider, making some caramels out of like their Arctic Haze or some of their Mar Mar Cider, anything like that. They're, we have an apple pomo right on the bar right now. That's a dual layer ganache and caramel featuring their pomo. Zip line, their calavera is like super sexy. We make a bonbon out of it. We've made cupcakes out of it, bread pudding out of it. Um, Ken Cater, we did a cookie tasting with Cody, which was so much fun. Um, their snozberry, we made a truffle out of an actual sour. A lot of people think you have to use really dark, heavy beers um, when you're doing truffle work. Uh, we made an amazing truffle out of their sour, and I love the snozberry. So fun. We use with some yuzu and some raspberry, a lot of a lot of great things that can cater. Um, Glacial Till, we've been doing, we have these experience boxes that we've created. So it's like a cider and then chocolate tastings that go with the ciders in a kit, or there are four other wines with four custom chocolate creations that go with the wines. And then Lisa was shipping them out, or you could come over to my place and pick them up because she had pre-orders on social media and then you would go get your box so you could have like a date night experience at home so and then we've done some like just dinner pairings with Glacial Till we've been out to their fermented Fridays with the food truck um everybody here is so great I love the boys at the hub I mean their food you know come on <laughs> yep so delicious <laughs> Um, just working with even some of the vendors at the farmer's market with some things that we do at the store is wonderful. I mean, everywhere you look, you're inspired by somebody else's passion here in town. And, and I love that. So I'm just blessed to get to work with so many people. Definitely. And then is there something, you know, specific that you're looking forward to with this year um, with your business or Lincoln? Well, um, again, we're going to get the food truck back out. So the coffee and dessert truck will be making the rounds. We, it had a really great showing last year. And I think this year it's just even going to be busier. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited about that. We are working on a couple of top secret projects. So I can't really okay. spill them, okay. <laughs> but, um, they Let's just say they are going to be more customer experience opportunities happening at the store. Okay. Um, now that we you know the vaccines are, are getting circulated and people are kind of calming down and things are feeling better here in the community about like interacting with each other. Um, once people like we're, we're always reading the climate here. So like we never want to push something that people aren't ready for, but we have some really big ideas that I hope to implement this year and even some more next year. You guys have only seen a, a small pinch of what we're going to be offering Lincoln and I'm very excited about it. That's so awesome to hear. I, I'll, I'll be looking forward to hearing about those top secret things coming out. So 
Thank we'll you. have to have you on later when, yes, when they're announcing and everything it. like that too, for sure. So, well, that, that wraps it up. I mean, I definitely appreciate everything uh, that you are doing here in Lincoln. And I know that the chocolate season is going to be a very favorite stop for a lot of people. I feel like uh, after they okay. see this and uh, awesome. I know I'm going to have to make a stop. I, before we aired this, um, I found out that there's a drive through and I think that's going to get me in trouble a lot um, in a good way, in a good way. Um, so thank you for doing this, Eric. I def Eric, I definitely appreciate this. And uh, I appreciate you reaching out. That's just wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, Paul. And now if you need anything um, for like taste testing, you just come through that window and I'm probably going to comp something for you. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you can have like a real person experience testimonial <laughs> happening. So. Okay. I will definitely okay. do that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Paul. And I can't wait to see it. Yep.